Okay, after discussing this with more of an expert than myself, which would be your grandpa, and your mom, and grandma, this carpet definitely needs to get taken off. So as you come down here to this little section room here, I heard, heard a Clydesdale behind me, it was your mom. Thanks. But you have flip flops on. This little area, I'm not sure yet, but this room right here that you said you wanted to turn into a, a little theater, this would be the best room if you're gonna turn anything into a bedroom, turn this one into a bedroom. The reason that mom and I believe it would be a bad theater is because of that right there, that window. And I know you can put a curtain on it, but I mean, it could be a theater if you wanted to, but we have a better option. Um, over here, which is when you come down the stairs, you come right over to that first little room. This would be the perfect room for a bathroom, financially speaking, and design speaking, because if you'll notice, the drain where your toilet would go into, where your, your, your shower, your sink, everything can run into the main sewer line, which is gonna be right down in this area. Because if you don't run it into here, you're gonna to have to cut up a bunch of concrete on the other side to hook up a bathroom. Here, there's gonna be very little cutting. A plumber can come in here and install a toilet, a shower, and a sink very easily. Now, you don't have to use this entire space as a bathroom, but this area right here needs to be the bathroom for financial reasons. And then you can have storage, you can have a big huge bathroom with storage in the bathroom if you want. Or you can have a bathroom and gym, I don't know. But the bathroom, <laughs> the bathroom needs to go here. So over on this section, when you come around, when you walk in here, I think it would be wise to run a wall from just left of the window out to here where I'm standing. So you have a good walkway. That can be a door. Mom's the door. So you have a, a, a good hallway, but this, move your arm. We'd have a wall that comes out to here. So you would have a door. That would be a hallway, but you'd have a, a door. Hallway. She's a hallway. And that way you have a separate laundry room. Everything's closed in so you can have some storage on this wall for your laundry room, a table or just something. You know, maybe maybe we put the wall right here where that where the goggles are hanging down. That way you can have some shelving here or a table so you can fold clothes, do whatever. You know, hire someone to do that for you. Call mom. <laughs> but this area, because the wall would be where the goggles are, we can frame up this wall so you're not having solid wall, and this would be your theater room. I'm at the very back of the wall. Nice dark, nice dark, no lights coming in. It's nice and cool down here. You're not gonna get a lot of upstairs noise. Make this your theater room. And because it would be your theater room, we wouldn't have to run as many outlets. We could run one outlet to the top under the rafters and then we'll drywall the top so we make it a little quieter. But that's where you can plug in your projector. We'll have a couple outlets on the side I almost thought that on this wall, we'd put one of those barn style doors that slides back and forth. Reason for that is because that way you don't have to be walking through the laundry room to get to it. Put a little barn style door there that slides back and forth that this entire area out here, this could be your gym or whatever you want it to be. But this area makes more sense to be your recreation area, your, your pool table, your, your dry bar, bring the refrigerator from upstairs in the garage and put it back in that corner, build a bar that goes across there, you know, have the refrigerator back here in the corner, put a little shelving area with a mirror, you know, make it real obnoxious and put some, some uh, put a TV back there. I don't know where to put a TV on this wall over here. But right here is where I wanted to put like a barn door, just slides over, or maybe here, somewhere, to where. I 
will say a little for you this way so it doesn't interfere, interfere with CB. Yeah. Just a little barn door so it slides over so you can go in and out there through the, the recreation area where you have room to to hang all your friends. Your, all your friends can hang out and they can just chill and just relax and get away from the world. But on that note, I agree with completely carpeting the theater, carpet the theater. I would not carpet the laundry room in case there's ever a, a leak because those happen from time to time. Definitely, I would not cup carpet the bathroom because that's just fucking gross. I would, I would carpet the bedroom or whatever you want this to be. But this entire open area, because it was going to be a, a, a recreation area, gym, a hangout with the buddies, you know, sit and drink a soda, watching the game, do whatever. Trust me, you do not want carpet on that floor. Because the first person who spills something on it, you're never going to fit forget that spot on the floor. Lane Turnbull. Remember that spot on the floor? Yeah. Or Cody Madonna or Carson Becker or, or Isaiah. Anybody who spills something on the floor, you're never going to forget that spot came from them. And you're never going to get it up. They don't all drink soda. They drink some other things. If you're playing any sports or anything, you want this to be a nice laminate like what's upstairs. Area rug down if you want yeah, if you want an area rug somewhere, put that down in front of the couch. But you do not, trust me, you do not want this to be carpet. You want this to be a laminate of some kind. Because it's going to be able to clean up easier. And if, like Mom said, if you want a carpeted area, throw down an area rug that you can roll up. Now I did just, Grandpa when, he came, Grandpa when he came over, he noticed that there was this hole up here. And right above it is the shower. And he had already looked in the shower. And he said, hey, you got to put some grout in that shower or you're getting a leak there. I just finished grouting it, so it's been done. And then you have a nice area down here to put some storage stuff. You can, you can put stuff back there, hang stuff, put some tubs, whatever. It's a nice area. I mean, this is big enough down here in this, this area. I'm not joking. You can play cornhole at regulation distance from down here. Regulation distance, you can cornhole right here. And shit, it'd be a good time. Cornhole there, little bar comes back here with the refrigerator, put a microwave back there in the corner, a little small TV. Ping I mean, pong table that can fold up. Ping pong table. Ping pong table go back there, nice. Yeah. You know, and if you don't want to turn this into a bedroom over here, I'd still, if, if you want to turn it into a gym, I would recommend not carpeting it obviously. But put a nice laminate on to where if you did turn it into a bedroom for resale purpose, it's got a nice laminate floor on there and it, there's no stains or anything. It's or if just... If you want to make it a gym, you can put one of those rubber mat floors down for... Yeah. This, this is just... It's too perfect and too square of a room to make just a, a theater when back there by the laundry room that is the least finished area that would be your perfect place for your theater room. Cause it's like mom said, it's dark. It's, you're not gonna have any disrupt, disruptions. It's just gonna be out of the way. But the bathroom, it's gotta go over here, dude. That, that, the cost of pulling up that concrete to get to the sewer pipe is just outlandish. You know, and the main water line comes in right there also. So for them to tie into the main water line, see like, up here, they've got all these main water lines coming back and forth. This is where you want to do it. This is where you want your bathroom to be. You don't want to close in all this stuff. So bathroom, I mean, you can have a big ass bathroom in, in down here. It's up to you. It, it obviously is not going to get done until you get here, but this is just my thoughts for cost and how the layout, in my opinion, and I'll help you do it however you want it done. But I just wanted you to think about this. So now I'm going to Bye. I'm going to walk you upstairs and show you the, what my thoughts are on the fence. Mom and I priced out some poles today. It's four by four poles. When you put four by four poles into the dirt and you cement them in, they wear out. I'm and going then, home. Okay. What time is it? Maybe? Five. Shit, we got to go. All right, I, I will make another video when we come back.